My own journey of inner practice began like that of many other people, with suffering, my own and that of others. Around me as a kid, in my earliest memories, was a deep knowing that there was so much unnecessary unhappiness. Stressing, bickering, worrying, pressure, contracting, all of it. And I got very interested in trying to understand through psychology and meditation and brain science, what in the world is causing that and what can we do about it? To answer the question of what to do about it, I got really interested in the examples of people who seem to be happy and strong and calm and clear and loving no matter what. In other words, the great sages, saints, and awakened beings who have lived throughout history and are living in the world today. I asked myself, how do you do that, right? How do you, how do you stay calm when everything's falling apart around you? How do you stay loving with people who've mistreated you, even as you're firm and assertive with them? How do you not crave when the body is pretty much designed to suffer and crave, uh, to survive and pass on genes that pass on genes? How in the world do you do that? So I've gotten very engaged in a kind of reverse engineering and focused on seven essential qualities in each of them that we actually possess ourselves and yet they're covered over. So these seven essential qualities are at the heart of this Neurodharma program and the name of the game here is not just to study them but to practice them, to actually uh, live them in every day and I'll show you how to do it. So I invite you to join me on this path.